Hi everyone and thanks for checking out my uh, channel. I'm going to have a look at a uh, few uh, commodities uh, tonight but also having a look at uh, the US dollar versus the euros and also looking at uh, Tesla as I found that uh, we could have uh, some very interesting configuration. Um, very interesting uh, week uh, we had on the past uh, few days. Uh, we finally got some correction on the market that was well overdue. Um, we could see with that correction we got a major uh, break uh, down with the euro uh, US dollar uh, with some really uh, clean breakdown uh, here from that uh, rising wedge. Uh, if we look, uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, we can see that uh, what happened today as we approached um, 1.175 we had that large divergence on the RSI side was pointing to a short-term correction and we went back up and touching the trend line uh, so I think at that point we could still uh, move a bit higher 1.1850 1, 1. Um, potentially uh, before resuming the, the downtrend but I think it's gonna be now um, quite uh, settled in terms of the uh, trend uh, change. You could see that the sellers are taking control and tomorrow we got the European Central Bank uh, meeting uh, expecting some monetary uh, announcement or anything that will actually make the euros uh, plunging uh, quite significantly. I uh, wouldn't be surprised to get a minus one person uh, just on the single day on tomorrow. Uh, so not necessarily really the dollar moving much higher but definitely the euro weakening uh, for many reasons. Uh, economical of course uh, because of the issues that the COVID-19 will create for the, the country in the south, widening the spread and all these things. But uh, yeah, expecting some major breakdown on tomorrow. So we'll definitely keep an eye on this. Um, moving now to the stock and having a look at Tesla, I'm usually not trading stocks uh, very rarely, but that configuration is so perfect that I'm actually quite interested in actually playing that one. So we had a uh, perfect uh, short signal uh, on the 500. As we can see the divergence we got on the daily, uh, daily divergence are usually quite powerful especially when you get exhausted like this with such a move to the upside uh, so that was a really perfect short entry point so what I'm looking at now is since we are approaching a very key level the divergence should clear around 280 uh, and I'll be looking at some entry at that point so we could still expect some move uh, a little bit higher from here uh, stock there so we got a little bit of a, some sort of a bull trap today but I could continue and close that gap up to 390 potentially before resuming uh, the move down um, probably something like this if we get some momentum uh, on tomorrow morning but I'm expecting uh, the market to resume the move down until we clear up all these divergences we have on the tech stocks so that point here should be really interested uh, because we'll get a really clean uh, Fibonacci retracement trade here at that point so should we enter there get the lower here and then we get the 1.5 that's almost spot on 400 so from 300 to 400 that's about 25 uh, uh, between 20 25 person uh, move to the upside that will very likely be quite sharp in my opinion uh, of course we'll have to wait for a clean divergence uh, I'll be looking at the one hour uh, as that stock is moving very fast uh, and we could see that previously we had some signal on the one hour on the last correction we got here uh, that was relatively clean uh, so if we actually reach on that uh, support around here we could actually uh, stop a little bit higher like 300 expecting um, sorry it's correcting now uh, 290 uh, potentially a push uh, a bit lower to, to actually get some uh, buyers capitulation uh, and then it'll be interesting to actually enter along so keeping an eye on this uh, there's other uh, tech stocks that are probably interesting to run the same sort of a similar trade uh, it will be only uh, a bounce back because I am expecting some more selling pressure to return as we get around 400 on Tesla for example now moving on uh, crude oil um, was talking about that major break we got from the rising wedge it was in place for quite some time so the target we almost reached it uh, 34, uh, we're looking now at probably 34, just below 35. Uh, so what I'm looking for now is for a new um, short entry point. So I closed all uh, short position now. Uh, took a bit of a long position here on that uh, four hours divergence that got confirmed on the 30 minutes uh, chart. So uh, when that, that kind of 
fast moving um, uh, price action is happening can drop the, the time frame a bit lower to get some nice uh, entry so we got up to 38.4 uh, which is the 4 hours uh, 20 MA it's usually capping the price quite nicely if we look at the previous drop um, here, uh, yeah, the large drop we have back in March so we can see the 20 MA on the 4 hours is actually doing a very good job capping the price uh, down until we can actually see some major uh, reversal I uh, might be interested in buying uh, WTI in that area, 34, depending if we get the right signal. Uh, the 4 hours already a bit um, extended, so I, I guess the next uh, drop will likely set up a nice divergence somewhere in that area here. So we uh, broke lower from there. So I'll be looking now at new short entry, um, letting the price moving a little bit higher, I'm expecting tomorrow uh, to continue. Uh, if we zoom the one hour and we can see we got that really nice uh, bull flag uh, and the target from this on the exit is actually to get up to uh, yeah, shy of 39 probably so I'll be looking at short entry here uh, that should actually offer uh, quite a good ratio in terms of the risk reward uh, reaching for the uh, sub 35 uh, level with a stop loss could be set easily above uh, 40 so not too far away Looking at that, you guys, for a very similar uh, configuration, we got that uh, 4 hours um, divergence here that's calling uh, basically for the price to revisit the top here, 250 potentially. That trend line should actually cap any move uh, to the upside. We're entering now shoulder season. Uh, there should be little incentives in terms of the demand, and the supply will continue to either get flat or increase a little bit. Uh, so the trend now has moved, and I'm definitely looking at uh, trading short. Uh, looking at the, the spread between October and November is reaching near 20% at the moment so this is just a no-brainer and there's no buy uh, at that point. I closed all short position for now. Uh, didn't actually enter long uh, because I think it was way too risky to do this uh, and in terms of the short position it, uh, it's a little bit low below 240 I think and a little bit too exposed so Hopefully, we'll get some move to the upside on tomorrow with the inventory uh, report showing some uh, bullish figure or something like that. Pushing to 250, then we'll get some really nice uh, short entry to trade back down uh, in the next stop. Uh, that is actually for the clearance of the divergence, uh, would be on uh, 215, but of course, not ruling out some continuation after this to touch that large trend line uh, we got here. That we are looking at sub uh, two dollars uh, before we enter in the winter season. That will be probably where I'll be looking for building up uh, long positions, but that's still a little bit too far away. Talking about end of September, so September is going to be bearish on natural gas, very likely, uh, and I'm not really interested in building any long position from here. Um, now, looking at uh, gold, uh, it's been a really uh, narrowing um, market uh, that I believe will soon uh, show some really large uh, move um, expecting this as well end of September potentially entering end of the year uh, that's usually quite bullish for the precious metal so I've started to build a long position but I'm only about 40-50% uh, uh, in position on this on the gold, silver, platinum uh, as I'm still keeping some cash in, in, in case of we, uh, we can see any move to the down to the downside but here we can see the 50 MA on the daily is doing quite a good job holding uh, the price I'm actually not too convinced that we are going to break much lower here uh, we're staying in that triangle potentially here revisiting 1920 so I might actually increase uh, my long position should we actually break that triangle uh, convincingly uh, or if we actually pull back uh, below 1900 uh, but at that point there's nothing really pointing to this uh, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely be keeping an eye on on, uh, on gold and the precious metals for the coming weeks and finally looking at uh, coffee uh, not looking at trading it but a very interesting configuration so we can definitely learn from this we can see the the four hours uh, chart is actually capped between the two uh, trend line on the RSI so major divergence uh, that did uh, start at 123 uh, should we actually start breaking down that uh, rising wedge 
we're looking at the first target at 114. Uh, should we actually move to the upside and keep going up? Uh, then we're probably looking at uh, 120 uh, as the bottom for the next uh, swing. Should we break that uh, RSI support trend line? Then it could actually go quite fast, uh, clearing up the divergence that we're having at that point here. So we're definitely looking at uh, 110. That's still my final objective for that next swing. Uh, definitely not looking at uh, opening any long position until we reach that level. Uh, potentially break lower to the trend line 95 is still very much possible. Uh, I think we are going to see something similar to what we've seen in all the previous reversal. So we're going to see some struggle a uh, little bit here, retouching potentially the up uh, trend line before breaking down for good and revisiting the lower end of the uh, of the triangle. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll have a look at uh, some of these uh, commodities over the weekend. Uh, keep an eye on Tesla uh, as a side and the euro, uh, <coughs> US dollar uh, expecting some major uh, breakdown. We're still having some significant short position on that pair, uh, which I hope will uh, be successful in the coming weeks. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, safe trade and I speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.